does have this report with more on this investigation. Deputies still on the scene here in Brandon, and they are now releasing new information about what happened inside of this home. They say the two women who lived here knew they were in danger, and that's why they installed surveillance cameras. The cameras show exactly when this went down. Investigators say Vincent Fullerat pulled up early Friday morning armed with a shotgun. They say he was after his estranged wife, Lisa Fullerat, and her girlfriend, Samara Rutenberg. The two had been living here for months. He made entry to the house. The victims became aware at some point. They both armed themselves with firearms. And that's when a shootout inside the home begins. They were overpowered by him and, and his uh, rounds. When the smoke clears, both women are dead. Vincent kills himself. Deputies say it was clear he was on a mission. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. He had multiple rounds in the vest as well as a stun gun. Investigators say this wasn't the first time Vincent attacked the couple. He was charged with aggravated battery in 2015 against Rutenberg. He was now out of jail on probation. Neighbors in this upscale neighborhood are stunned. You don't have the right to do that because there's so many people this is going to hurt for such a long time. Especially for those in the Lake Gibson Middle School family in Lakeland. Samara Rutenberg was an assistant principal and Lisa Fullerat was a sixth grade teacher. This is extremely tragic. Grief counselors are expected to be at Lake Gibson Middle School on Monday. Reporting in Brandon, Jake Peterson.